Today, we're going to take a look at some strategies that will help get your finished bodywork perfectly straight and ready for paint. All of your block sanding needs can be taken care of with just three blocks. One for the large repairs, one for the medium repairs, and one for the small repairs. The pad on the bottom is very important. Too thin of a pad and it sands in just one spot and then the sandpaper gets clogged up. Too thick of a pad and it just rides along the bumps. So you want the pad that goes with the board when you bought it. You really can't replace this pad. It's made exactly for auto body. After applying three or four wet coats of primer surfacer over the repair, and it's got to be primer surfacer because that builds thickness, it's time to block sand to eliminate highs, lows, waves, and any other imperfections. But what exactly should you use for this size repair? The best choice for this size repair is the long board. And the reason is the short board just will ride along the contour. It won't bridge these low areas. Whereas the long board can bridge these low areas and cut through the high areas, leaving a much straighter panel. Before block sanding this, we can give it a light coat of some dark color to sit in those low areas and then we'll be able to pick them out real well as we block sand. So I'm just going to give it a real light coat and this is just the enamel in a can. And you can let this dry for just a couple of minutes. To block sand, we'll be using 120 on this long board and we're just going to go diagonally this way and we're going to go diagonally this way, back and forth, and even around in circles, looking for low areas. So let's start. And this gives me a really good idea right now what I have. This is real good. Real good. Now you see this low spot right here. The paint is sitting in those low areas. Right here is a low spot. Maybe here. Mm, I really haven't hit that yet with the block. But I know for sure that's a low spot. So we're going to just keep sanding and hopefully those go away. If they don't go away, we'll have to fill that in with a little putty. But I think they're going to go away. And now we don't want to just, you know, keep sanding on that area, right? Because it's going to make a low spot in that area. So we have to concentrate on the whole area at one time, lowering the whole area all at once.
Okay, this is real good. Let me move the camera in real close so you can see what we got going on. And this is a great view of some high spots and low spots. Right here, we hit metal. Right here is a low spot where that black paint is sitting in that low spot. Right here is metal, and right here is a low spot. If we forced it, we would make a high spot here where that, if we just kept sanding until we got this out, this would then be a high spot, and you'd see that wave in the paint. So we're gonna stop as soon as we hit that metal, and we're instead gonna fill this with some putty. We got a high spot, we stopped. High spot, we stopped. The low areas have to be filled in. Now the type of filler or glazing putty that you use is up to you. But well, we're going to use some inexpensive glazing putty here. And I'm just going to put a little bit right there. And we're just going to, this is a very minor, very minor low spot there. And I think that should do us for right there. And then we're just going to throw some on right here. And that should be good for right there. This dries fast, so when it's dry, I'll be back to block sand that give it another coat of primer, and give it another try. Now that the putty is dried, we'll sand it using the same board and the same paper. That took care of that spot. And you can see it's a little bit low right in there. We'll just keep going. And that took care of that spot. Now I'll clean it up and we'll give it a couple coats of primer and block it again. After a few coats of primer surfacer and one light guide coat, we're ready to try it again with the same block and the same paper. And again, we're going to go like this, and we're going to go like this, and we're going to go back and forth, and even around in circles. And hopefully, we don't run into any low spots or any high spots.
and we're looking good. We didn't run into any high spots or low spots yet. On that side, we had a little bit of a low spot right there. We're good so far. And this block really tells the truth. I think that's good. We don't have any low spots showing up, any dark areas, or any high spots showing up. So let me move the camera and I'll give you a real close-up view of what it looks like. And here's a real close-up view of the panel. We did have a little high spot just starting to poke through, but this little guy will be no problem as we have to prime it once more and finish sand with the DA using either 220 or 240, or we can wet sand with 400. The important thing is that there's no low spots. I hope you enjoyed this video on block sanding with the longboard, which always tells the truth, and addressing some high and low spots. And if you did, and you'd like to get my latest videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button.